the countdown timer to how long you have to answer the question and a choice of answers. Each one corresponds to a colour. On your device, you'll see the same four sets of colours. You have to pick the colour that corresponds to the answer. So my question will still be up on my screen, so you'll see all the colours. Your screen will have just those four rectangles, each with a different colour, and you need to let somebody in. Sure, I can speak up. Rabbits and Sarah, happy birthday. Someone reminded me, we've already done it on Facebook. We'll do it publicly now. If there's a true or false question, that's, the que that's what you will see. And you just pick true or false on your device. If you've played Kahoot before, you see the top, I think it's the top three scores, maybe the top five scores. Watch the countdown timer carefully on your device and on my screen. Questions have a time limit of 10 or 20 seconds only and cannot be repeated. We don't think you need to use external sources. I'm just gonna generate a pin number for the game and let you know what that is. So the pin number you need to enter is 313915. 313915. I can't show you the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint's got, that's what you need to be looking at. Enter pin, click on enter pin. That's where the pin goes in. Ronnie, just send me a message with how many players I'm expecting so I know how many to look for, please. First name, last name, initial, please. We've got 30 there. Ignore the game pin that's on that screen. I can't edit it. I'm in the middle of a PowerPoint. I'm not closing it yet till I see everybody has joined. I think of that number, Ronnie, a couple aren't playing. So if there's anybody who's having trouble getting in, please send us a message now so we can start the game. Just sharing the Kahoot screen so you can see where we're up to. Kahoot is all you'll see now until the end of the round. I think we're gonna hit the road, Ronnie. 
Just send me a message, Ronnie, on Zoom. Go for it. Okay. We're ready. We're going to hit the road, guys. So actually a fly is about four times faster than a mosquito. Whoa, next question. Yep. It was false. It's only one Anna Frid was born in Norway. It is actually false. Uh, John, we just need me to be need to be clear that the the questions are up now. The questions are up on your shared screen. Questions on my Kahoot screen through Zoom. You've got the answers. Not sure what the K stands for. So is everybody clear? You need to be watching my Zoom screen for the question. Your Kahoot screen for the answer. To put so to key your answer in, so you'll see the answer on my screen, but you need to key it in on your screen. There's 34 triple claims. Is that correct? That's fair. Neutral pH is seven. Steve Sachs into an early lead. Pretty sure somebody got a grant to review that. Been in the news a bit, they're in Geneva. We already had the question in another game, he was arrested for tax fraud. One for Simon Tisha. Thirty-five. This should have been forty something. 
It's actually lip piercing. John, I still think we have some uh, one couple who are actually not looking at the Zoom screen for the questions and they haven't realised they're supposed to look at the Zoom screen. So just reminding people that's where the questions appear on the Zoom screen. So thanks, Ronnie. It's like we can't tell from what we're doing, but if you're not looking at my screen where the scores are totaled now, if you can see the scoreboard, you need to keep watching that screen for the next question and the answer options. And then on your Kahoot device to key in what you think the answer is. Thanks, Ronnie. One more. One more. It's actually a snow crystal. I don't know what I need to do to see people. So that's the last of the true and false. Now we're onto some general knowledge. There'll be a choice of four answers. You need to pick the right one of four. Get those fingers moving. Well, no messages. Gallery view, I don't know where gallery view is.
Someone still got it wrong. seconds. That was. So I just had to let somebody into the waiting room from the waiting room. Thanks, John. I, it hasn't come up on my screen. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And I think he was the only real name in that list. Make it easy. Make So the next set of 15 questions will be visual. You'll see an image of something. You get a little bit longer to answer and you need to answer the question what it actually is I'm showing you. Because you don't get the questions right away.
Very close near the top. Very, very close. Less than a hundred points in it at the top. Five to go.
And they catch him. Last question. John, that's very good. Can I say that it's so good that everyone's on mute. It's allowed me to fall asleep during the... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Liz, I saw you laughing. It does allow, of course, John, it does allow husband and wife and people to in the room to discuss things without anyone else knowing what they're saying. There we go. We've taken, taken it off share. Everybody awake? <laughs> that was very close. Well done to Jacob. So we will send out by email tomorrow all the scores so you can see the scores for each team for each round so you can just see how you went but that was a good result uh, once he got in the lead I think there was uh, not much chance you're going to catch him look close and then uh, he got away so now I'm going to ask Rabbi Glasman he's going to say a few words while I just get the next section ready for you uh, he promised it would be no more than five minutes is that right <clears throat> yeah, thank you, John. Uh, hi, everyone. There's been a slight change. Um, I haven't given a sermon in about three months. So I'm just going to combine all of the sermons I would have given over those three months and we'll be here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm glad you're all smiling because it means you just thought that was funny. Now, um, just so you know, uh, <laughs> thanks for the thumbs up, uh, past president Anton. Appreciate that. I firstly just wanted to wish a very special happy birthday to one of the participants. I didn't ask her for permission, I hope it's okay, to Charlotte Fragman, one of our wonderful and long-standing and faithful and loyal members. Hi, Charlotte. I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Big mazel tov to you on your birthday today. Um, but also, there, uh, since we're in the, uh, the uh, feeling of trivia, uh, here are two options as to why I didn't actually play the trivia. I was listening, I was watching, but I didn't actually play. Option number one, if I would have played, uh, none of you would have stand at a chance and that's not fair to dominate the game. Option number two, I can hear many of you saying option number two before I've even offered it, is um, the only questions I ever get right on trivia are the religion questions. So just put up, your hand number one, if you think it's option number one, or number two, if you think it's option number two. Okay, the twos have it. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I also wanted to say a very special thanks to the organizers, particularly to Beth and John Slutskin. Uh, they are master trivia people. They play trivia wherever they go on cruises, etc. pre-COVID and please God post-COVID. Uh, but they really really put together uh, amazing trivia night. So thank you so much, John. I know everyone's on mute, but I know we're all clapping you from here and I can see everyone's hands going together. And also thank you, Rabbi Figdor, for your technical support, which is always much appreciated. I'm not sure who else participated in the behind the scenes, but we thank you all very much. And finally, uh, uh, John did say that it's only five minutes and it will remain five minutes. A special thanks to each and every one of you uh, for joining us. I see many of our uh, St Kilda Shul faces and from other shuls as well or from, not from any shul we're so happy to have you all here it's awesome to see you guys here thank you so much for joining us and uh, I hope that you enjoyed the experience as much as I enjoyed watching you guys from uh, from my screen um, thank you so much and I'll hand back over uh, to John um, to, to close up the uh, the proceedings thank you
Thanks, Rabbi. We appreciate you being here and um, the check's in the mail. So moving moving on, I don't know if, I don't think we need a break. Do we, Ronnie, need a break for anything? No, no but John, I was, I was going to ask, what, how do the prizes work? So the prizes, we'll contact the prize winners, but I did send an email out today that the prize winners will each be given an option of either the voucher prize that we'd previously advertised, or in fact, a particular item of some greater value. They'll have a choice. There's not an obligation to take one or the other. So mm -hmm. we'll be in touch with all the winners tomorrow, uh, checking out their option, their choice, and we'll make the arrangements beyond that. So we sent out... Right. Rock and also the concurrent to this... Sorry, concurrent to this, there's also the um, silent auction. Is that correct? Silent auction is going to run for another tw 24 hours. Some items have gone, but there are still some bargains there. Time to get in early if you want, if you want to get something for uh, Hanukkah. So perhaps I'll copy and paste. Great, so right. perhaps, perhaps I'll copy and paste into the chat for everyone uh, the link to that silent auction. We could do. So I'm just going to go back and share the uh, screen for you when I find it. So we do our thanks halfway as well. I said we really appreciate the support we've been given. So we had a brain teaser that we sent out to you all and quite amazingly we had two people who got 40 out of 40. So what I'm going to do, so I can still see them, I just need to minimise everything else I've got here. I uh, can't see the, have a problem running when I try to view the participants. Yeah, sure. So um, I actually sent you on your WhatsApp, by the yeah. way, um, a way to, uh, there's a, there's a something that goes in between the participants and your, and your shared screen. You're able to move that along and, and see more. So under view options, you'll have a thing called side by side mode. Yeah, can't see it. Hmm. Uh, Cause I've got the floating tab, I've got the floating tab. When I close down, now that I've paused that, I should see everybody, but I don't. Um, I can break curfew and come round to your place. You could break curfew, but that would be expensive, very expensive game for you and me. <laughs> Indeed. Let me just stop the share for a sec. So when I stop the share, I get every, everybody back. So I need to try that. So we need to be able to see the two finalists with a piece of paper handed up, held up. So Charlotte's got a, okay, I need a new question, Charlotte, because I didn't put the question up yet. Whoops. Where are John, we? Do we know who those two finalists are? Charlotte and Anne. Oh, wow. Okay. Anne, did you put your piece of paper up? Can't see it. Put in front of the things so yes. I can see on it. Yeah, I can see. Well, there's a figure Charlotte, there. what did, Charlotte, what did you say? Can we just unmute? I'll just unmute Charlotte and... Yeah, so I've now unmuted both of them. And Ronnie, I wanted to say again, thank you, because um, I had such a trouble getting through it, and it was just I had the wrong number written down. We're so good. Do We're good. <laughs> Let's I unmute. won't win, but I'm having fun. <laughs> Let's unmute Charlotte. Let's unmute Charlotte um, Fragman, Ronnie. Yeah. Um, I have actually unmuted Charlotte. It's up to her to now click on the 
um, unmute button. So Charlotte, if you can hear me now, there you go. That's yeah. it. Thank you. Um, I'm here, 1440. Charlotte Fradson has been doing her homework. Did I send you the question before the night? No, 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 but that's a common trivia question. That's a common... Can you tell me which questions aren't common and I'll ask you one that's not <laughs> Every other one you asked tonight, we're not doing very well. That's okay. So Charlotte, in fact, got so close, it's probably exact. There is a doubt whether it's 1439 or 1440. 1440 is so close to exactly the right answer that Charlotte will be declared the winner of the brain teasers. Congratulations. And Anne, good, good effort, Anne. 40 out of 40 is an amazing effort for brain teasers. Thank you. They're really Thank annoying, you, Brian. Um, some people found. Is, is Rabbi fun. still on or not? Sorry? Rabbi Glassman. Didn't catch it. Is Rabbi Glassman still on line? I'm uh, not sure. He may have disappeared. Uh-huh. So now we need to go back to Stephen Pinch because Stephen was working on the workman digging the hole. So Stephen, did you come up with an answer? Three workmen, two hours to dig a hole. How long does it take? I forget what the question was. What was the answer, Stephen? Johnny? Hang on, stay. What was the answer? I think the hole's a hole. The answer was, Stephen, how do you dig half a hole? The hole's a hole. Well, yeah. Exactly. Lauren knows that. She's a teacher. Trust me. <laughs> so there's your answer. You can't dig half a hole. Exactly right. Not that I'm aware of. So let's just go back to sharing the PowerPoints. Just had a nervous breakdown. There we go. So there's the answer to the uh, to the question. So you should now, we need to get back to Kahoot. Kahoot should still be running on your, on your phone, your app or your screen. I'm gonna create another pin number for you in just a minute. Won't be one second while the system just gets itself ready. That's the Kahoot music. I'm going to share the screen with you and you'll be able to plug the number in. There's your pin number. Same principle as before. First name, last initial. Just while people are logging in, I'm going to fill up my water glass. I think we're ready to start. So the first six questions are gonna be music clips. We'll play the music clip once, then you'll get the 
question and the answer choices and I'll play the music a second time while you're doing that. Ronnie, just send me a message if the sound's not good enough. Will do. Thank you. So here's the first clip. So we're looking for... 34, something to 35. Yeah. We're looking for a queen hit. Louder. Yep, we can do a bit. Number two, we're looking for a song by the Four Seasons. Here it is again. Number three, looking for an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. So I want the name of the musical. You're gonna see the names come up, so not the name of the song. was Love Changes Everything from Aspects of Love. We're looking for a Beatles hit. <laughs> Have a new leader. This next one was a music nominee for the Oscars for this year. Each of those movies was nominated for, for its music score. Finally, we're looking for an Emmy Award nominee from 2019.
This is a very good show. If you haven't seen it, the next season is starting fairly shortly. That's the end of the music. General knowledge. Uh, what happened there? Ronnie? I knew the answer. I'd be surprised if others didn't. So I don't know. Did I'm assuming people uh, didn't no. vote. I don't know. Very strange. Okay. I know the piece. I think we've got a technical problem, Ronnie. So it would appear we're not don't seem to be getting. Um, so um, could I could I have a wave of people to indicate if you actually put in a vote for the last piece? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, John, we do have a technical problem. Is John? Is it possible to? I don't know what's going on. But is it possible that's to uh, you're up to question nine? I think is that right? Yeah, I can restart it. Yeah, I think that might be the best, and we'll we'll give everyone the coup, new coup pin. I don't think people will mind going through, flipping through the first seven, and let's give it another go. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unshare that, and then I'll. Yeah. And I'll have to. And Racheli, I think, is is on the ball. I think that's quite right. It is a server problem. But uh, what we'll do is, if we restart that, um, and I'll share with everyone the new Kahoot. And we'll just be patient for the through the first uh, eight of those questions or nine of those questions. So the the music questions, I think, were actually answered, weren't they? They were answered, and in fact, we've already got an answer to um, to the questions eight and nine, I think. So I, if anyone gets it wrong, it means you weren't watching the screen when the answers came up. So what, what I might do is skip... Billy past... Joel's hit, for example, I won't say. We, we, yeah. I'll see if I can skip past the music ones to save some time. Yeah. And we do... Do, uh, do we do them again? Asks Anne. And do you want the score? Do you want to just win the, all of those points yourself? I see. I thought so. You had that sort of look on your face. Steve is looking troubled. <laughs> Not at all. And okay. Wait, so yeah, that's true. So just be patient. We'll get that. New, we'll just restart that Kahoot again with a new number. There's the new number. Uh huh. And I, it's all jumped. There we go. Let's see if we can get that number to everyone as well. So that's in your hoop pin. Sorry about that. I have no idea what happened there. Of course, you'll want everyone to put in their first name again and first initial last name. Is that correct? That'd be close. Yeah. Yep. So we're sorry about that.
think we might be done. Looks close. You think? Nod, Ronnie? We seem to have lost a person since the last round, but that's okay. But, um, hmm. We may have lost a person from the last round. Uh, is everyone uh, now put in your, your name? If so, let's move on. Uh, 34 now. Uh, that'll be it. That's how many we had last round. Thank you. I'll just see if I can skip past the music questions for you. I'm just going to skip past those. Oh, wait on. We're going to take the music scores that we got. Oh, that's going to create a problem, Ronnie. Um, now, of course, you weren't able to keep a record of those music scores, were you? Well, I do, but then I've got to. I've just. I've got. Then I've got to um, tally it into what we what we get from this one. Um, I can replay them. Uh, yeah. It should start again with the same number, I think. Let me just try something. Melanie got kicked out. Yeah. Uh, yes, but I have just sent Melanie the Kahoot pin. And of course, I've, I've posted it to everyone in, that, in this chat. So if you, okay. I'm gonna try it again. Try and so don't answer any of the questions. Don't bother answering any. Oh, we've got a new Kahoot pin. I'll put, post that now. Uh, and of course you don't want anyone to answer questions yeah. for the first five, 10 of these. Yeah, let, no, they, let's start again from the, I know it's gonna run late. Let's start from the beginning. Sure. Which means everyone's got a good chance of getting them all right. We can either do that or I'll have to, I can extract the result from when it was last played. Ronnie, I'm just gonna see if I can find the scores from the first round. That would be great if, if you can. Uh, I, can find so, the, I can find the scores, then we can... Um, we can tally those together at the, um, afterwards. Uh, but as Simon correctly points out, getting, extracting that result would be, would be great um, because we can add those to the question, there are some of the questions beyond number 10. Um, and uh, John, you don't have to share this screen for a moment. You can actually unshare while you, while you play with that. So keep that ready, but uh, perhaps unshare the screen. And then we can all, um, in fact, if you don't mind, I might just, if it's okay, John, I might unmute people for a few minutes and do that for me. And I'll see if I can extract. We can all, so I think there's a way to do this to unmute all, ask all to unmute. Yes. yes. There we go. And of course, now you're, we can hear you. So whatever you're sharing with others, with your loved one or the people you hate, we will hear you. <laughs> Um, so you can, uh, of course, speak if you like and breathe a bit while John, John gets that going again. Hmm. And it's lovely. David, it's lovely to see you as well. Nice to see you, Ronnie. Thank you very much. <laughs> that bit of bad luck there, but it happens. It, unfortunately, it does. Are you okay? It can always see Paul, Paul, Paul zooming in from uh, Jerusalem. Have you been involved in negotiating the peace treaty, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> yes, always love Paul's backgrounds there. 
Les, uh, I don't know if Anne needs any support. I think she no, was she getting a rogue, okay <laughs> without you. <laughs> She's doing a job of her own, absolutely. A job of her own. <laughs> yeah. It's friendly, Naples, yeah, it's like around the, uh, the fun in the uh, sunshine up north. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like, like the backdrop, very good backdrop. And the Harris is from the UK. Lovely to see you from Leeds, I believe. Good. And um, uh, I don't I'm know if you're aware. I'm actually, Ronnie, Ronnie, I'm actually standing outside the front of the shawl at the moment, breaking curfew. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, actually, we believe you. We've got on. police on their way now. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Harrises, I don't know if you know, but we have a curfew from 8 p.m. till 5 a.m. And getting caught outside is not a. It can be a costly exercise. Mm. You're being hidden. Well, it's it's fine, but no, you can't. I, I yeah. can't. By the way, you guys, Harris is just still on mute. You can unmute yourselves if you like. We, we didn't hear what you're saying. Yeah, you can just click on unmute. You should be able to do that. There okay. You are. There yes. You <laughs> yes. Yes, I just said you, it's fine. You, the curfew especially so that the trivia can go ahead without interruption. <laughs> That's right. Um, and can I ask you, I don't want, wasn't intending to interview you, but can I ask you uh, what, what sort of restrictions you guys are facing at the moment? At the moment, very little. It's, in England, it's calmed down at the moment. So We have to wear a mask on public transport. We have to wear a mask when we go into any public store. Yep. Other than that, uh, outside you're okay. We're still asked to socially distance. Um, but uh, where we live in our particular Learn part... Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very little. And are you looking at relatively small numbers of new infections each day? Yes, yes. I mean, we had it dreadful at the beginning, far, far, far worse than you did. But it has come right down. For and the what, sort of, what sort of numbers are, we, are you talking about? Well, we, well, in fact, they've just revised the numbers, but we, would, we had over 40,000 deaths. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and hundreds of thousands of people ill, but they've got it. Com they seem to have it, everything under control now. So uh, we hope all we can do is hope. We've got to be careful, and we've got to hope for the best. But you know what they say about statistics? Yes, about seventy percent of them are made up on the spot. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but at the uh, moment, to be. Uh, yeah. God willing, we're going in the right direction. But um, when you talk about low, really come right down, do you get a tally each day of how many new infections there were? Yes, we do. And, uh, you know, and it's down, it's down now from the hundreds of thousands to the low hundreds and deaths are under 10. And we also get local figures as well for Leeds, hospital admissions, hospital deaths, you know, and they yeah. come right down as well. They seem cool. to be finding better ways of treating people that do get ill. They don't we had, that they're, they're, they're no longer putting people, intubating people and putting them in a, into an uh, induced coma if they can, because right. all the various organs tend to shut down. What they're tending to use is more CPAP, which is a positive pressure mask. Yes. And, um, and, and they've learned a lot now and they're treating them much, much better. Mm. Tell them to stop chatting and get on with the job. <laughs> I'm back, yeah, Ronnie. Who's with that? Okay, well, if way. that's okay, then I'll I'll mute everyone. Hi. Sorry, Anne. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll... say hi, to Leah. Yeah, good. Hi, Anne. Hi. <laughs> uh, John, could you wait while while these two do highs to each other? No, who is it? Go the other way. I I will mute everyone again. Um, hi, Anne. <laughs> How are you? Good. <laughs> nice to see you. I'll soon meet. There you go. It's it's happened, John. And John, I'm gonna I'm gonna unmute you because you you might be quite important for this. Could be. So I've printed out, I've, I've I've extracted and printed out the report from the music round. It appears from about question four onwards. So question one and two 
many, most people answered. Question three, a lot didn't. By the time we got to question four, there were only five people who answered. So I don't know whether that was because they didn't know the answers. Uh, question five had most answers. So question six, I don't know whether they had technical problems, only four people answered. So it's strange that we didn't get answers, even if people didn't know they'd get something. And then seven was the last, I think six was the last musical question. So. So John, can I ask you, when was the last time you had 34 people? What question did you have 34 people responding? Didn't. 33. So, we, so there were people who didn't respond even from question one. And that and, may have been because they didn't know the answer or they just didn't respond or was technically, I don't think it was a technical issue. So I think we should start from question seven, okay. which was the first non-musical question. So I've got the totals up till question six, and then we can add those back into the total from question seven on. So when you see the questions come up one to six, I'll try and skip past them. Please don't answer them. You can answer, but it's only going to confuse things. So please don't answer any question. I'm not going to play the music anyway until we get to question seven. Okay. So we've got 30 people signed in at the moment, Ronnie. Um, okay, we sh hopefully have should have had some more, but uh, could everyone please check that you're you, you're using the Kahoot pin 425213. So once again, please don't answer any of these first six questions. As soon as it comes up, I'll skip past it. That's good. I don't know how Team Tisha get to be on top when they haven't answered a question. It's a bit of a concern. They don't look worried. No, so I'm saying no, we're not worried. They're, they're a hard team to beat. And John, you'll give us a heads up when we are allowed to answer. Is that right? Correct. Right. This is the last music one. We'll just get past this. Okay, so now we're back to where we should have been. So this is question number seven. You need to answer this question. It's a multiple choice. Pick one of the answers. We'll see how we go. Good luck. Whoops. Tish has disappeared. Every now and then will be nice for it to you. Just need to answer a question from Melanie.
Just check the messages, Melanie, for the Kahoot pin. The last one that Ronnie circulated. Uh, that doesn't seem to be her problem. I think she's uh, she's getting getting some issues with her uh, timing out. Uh, I'm wondering whether there's a a technical uh, problem with the internet on on her end. Could Sorry, be. at her side of the things. I don't mean at her end. No, because no, I'm on a, I'm cable hardwired. I'm not using Wi-Fi. So is Kool-Aid cheese kosher, Ronnie? Only if it has a Kosher Australia logo on it. So even though it's come from a non-kosher animal, it's still kosher. I can't comment. I know nothing about it. Sorry, but probably not. No, now that I see where it comes from. Just playing with you. Uh oh, Leeds is in the lead. John, could you just give me a moment, please? We've got one person who's just logging back in. So after this, if you if you uh, just wait before you click on next. Sure. Thanks. No problem. And just give me one moment. I'll just ask that person if they're in, back in. Yep. Um, let's see if I can see the person. There you are. Um, and that person who's rung me, could you just give me a thumbs up that you're back in to Kahoot? Sort of. Just so you've, you're putting in the pin that I've just sent you again. And it says time's up. Okay, but you're actually, that probably means you're in. Uh, press okay. And I think you, hopefully the next question should come up for you. So, and we're going to try that now with the next question. Ready to run? Let's give it a go. Yep, we're on. Thanks very much, John. Thank goodness nobody put basketballs.
That's 16 apiece. And John, John, oh, before you oh. click on next, let's yep. just wait. We've got someone else who's who's struggling. Let's just, let me just see if we can uh, help them again. Um, so sorry to put everyone on a hold. Someone says that she's a bit stuck. It's uh, now not without without mention, intending to mention names, but Charlotte, could you wave to me, please? I can see you there. New pin okay, so just John, just wait one moment, please. We'll get okay. we'll just get Charlotte back on. Uh, luckily, I have the pin ready and waiting. And in a moment, we'll get Charlotte just to wave to us to indicate that she's put in the pin again. Unfortunately, that's that's the problem with some technology. You drop out, and as long as we have the pin, we're ready to get get people back on. So let's just wait to see. And Charlotte, if you could put a thumbs up above your head so we can see. See that you're ready. Yeah, and it looks like we're ready, John. Thank you very much for your patience. Ronnie, did you want to do a tiny Tim uh, uh, impression? Um, I used to when I so, once someone kicked me where they shouldn't and I was able to do it, but I won't. I won't do it now. Thanks. Maybe Simon Tisha could do it for us. Simon, no, I'll take that as a negative. And John, just wait for one moment uh, before you do the next. Uh, Dinah, can I can I see you uh, your hand up? I'd just like to check that you're you're still in the game. Dinah, where are you? Ah, you've got your video off. Yes, I could. See, you got it. Good. Okay, John, we're ready. Thanks. Nobody picked the rabbi. You have a little bit longer to answer these. These are all visual, the next 14.
over. You've done it. I'm trying to move it. You've done it. When? You've done it. Beth, you shouldn't tell tell John off, but John, you've done that. <laughs> We're starting to see some very similar questions. I have to say it makes does make it a lot easier for us, for the people like me who couldn't get anything right. I'm starting, starting to get them right. There you go, eh? This time everybody got it right. John, that's not fair. You have to be old enough to recognise that. Most people did, Ronnie. Now, our last 15 of general knowledge. Sorry, true or false?
They were actually red. I think Superman must have worn those pants because he thought he was on Zoom. How do I mute you? <laughs> 24 letters. Sylvia's making a run. An ostrich egg is almost three times the size of an emu egg. It's the sciatic nerve is the longest. Well, nobody in the top got that right. So this is not the podium. This is the podium for what we've done so far. So Ronnie, you need to give me about two or three minutes. I'll export the report, um, add it sure. on to the one we've just done and hopefully get an answer of who the winner is. Great, no problems. Should be able to do it from the chair. I'll leave you to offer words of wisdom.
uh, then you're going to be sadly disappointed. But in the meantime, I've unmuted people, allowing them a bit of breath of fresh air once again. Um, can I say that Simon has been cheating? He's been using his dog to help him with the answers. I warned him about that. Well done, John. That was great. Yes. Really enjoyed it. No, it's, it's very good so far, I have to say. Well done. And despite some technical challenges beyond yours, your control, anyone's control, it's been really well handled. Thank you. Thank you. It was enjoyable. Ronnie, get out the bottle of whiskey and share it around. Uh, I have been actually, but I've been sharing with everyone with uh, so, uh, in my room at the moment, and How I'm going to be sick of sharing it between everyone in my room. How many whiskeys have you had, Ronnie? Um, it's a bit hard. I can't remember. Can't <laughs> I've lost count. It is. It's very good. Yeah. And Avram, from, no, Avram from Modin, it's lovely to see you. And what's the weather like in Israel at the moment? Well, at least you're in the middle of the country, which is where you are. You can unmute if you like. Hang on, let's That's just see. Come up. Should we have to unmute? There okay, we go. There we go. Um, it's chilly and rainy. Ooh. And if you believe, yeah, because of the whiskies. Uh, it's uh, hot and sunny, uh, very pleasant. We had a coolish spell. We even had a, a day or two where some drops of rain fell, considered mm. very unseasonable and uh, unusual. We were up north. We we're allowed to travel within the country. So we took our summer vacation up north and it was actually delightful. Right. And we've heard from the Harrises of U the UK about some of their restrictions and their restrictions almost non-existent. Uh, uh, Avi, could you tell us about the sort of restrictions currently in Israel? Well, um, we actually had a rabbi write that uh, um, in the month of Elul, we say that the king is in the field. Um, mm. That's what the uh, Alter Rebbe said. And uh, that just means that he'll be joining us because that's where we've been davening for the last half year, uh, out in the fields and in the uh, courtyards and, and parking lots and so on. So... The main restrictions have been regarding closed spaces like shuls, um, but they're trying to find a balance. The big thing going on now is we've got school starting, the school year starting uh, in a couple of weeks. And the question is, will kids be able to go and will they be able to go every day, please God, um, and, and not be stuck at home. So that's why we're waiting to see. That's the next thing. Try homeschooling an eight-year-old. That's a joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Avi, it must be quite a challenge. The numbers have been quite high in Israel. They have. Uh, they've been shooting up of late. They've kind of leveled off. We've had uh, close to 700 dead altogether. There are currently 114, I see, on uh, um, being ventilated. So it's not a huge number uh, in and of itself, but uh, um, we're definitely trying to, to, to you know, keep it down. And, uh, I think we've been doing masks for half a year now or, or so, and, and people have been, certainly here in Modi, and we got her hit first. So uh, um, once bitten, twice shy has been the story around here. Oh, I understand. And I, I understand Bibi has come under some fire from, from people who are quite upset about the restrictions and probably more importantly about the uh, loss of jobs, where it's 25% uh, unemployment, is that right? That sounds about right. Mm. Um, well, you know what they it's say, opinions alike, yeah, uh, in terms home. of everyone having one. Not necessarily. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, I think everyone's been Not here. Not with that type of heating. That's in what they look like heating. No. Yeah. Sure, I understand. So it's definitely challenging times. And yeah. uh, we have someone here who's, who's in from uh, Queensland and looking quite sunny. Um, and are you stuck in Queensland or you're welcome to leave at any point in time, Hillel? You can unmute yourself if you like. Um, I, ch I choose to be stuck here at the moment. No one's suggesting that Melbourne's a good place to be. 
But if anyone wants to disagree, that's fine. But uh, the shawls, the shawls are open here, and uh, well, the sh the shawl, the shawl, not the shawls. And uh, so we've been attending uh, Shabbos Minyan and Monday and Thursday. And um, yeah, so just the one, as soon as uh, Sekilda's back, I'm back. So uh, hopefully that's soon. If not, I've been offered a job here for Yontov, so we'll see what happens. Wow, yeah. I'll have so to talk here, to the CEO. Yeah. But uh, I'm happy I'll, to broadcast yeah. it if you want. Yes, there might be some interest. I can see yeah. Jan and, and Danny uh, have yeah. got the, giving you a thumbs up. Steve has got a big smile on his face. Uh, the funny, Charles, the funny, th the funny yeah. thing is because there's no tourists here, like there's no one from foreign countries or from uh, yeah. Melbourne, Eastern Kilda, Caulfield, mm. um, we stick out like a sore thumb. So everyone knows we're not local. We do not look like the average Queenslander, that's for sure. Right, are the streets quiet? Um, very, very quiet. Yeah, very quiet. Every time we walk, every walk, every time I walk past a non-kosher restaurant, they think we're coming in. It's like, sorry, we've got uh, vegetables for dinner. Right. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's pretty bad for uh, the economy, I think. So quite sad. Hmm. And they have had some scares recently from... A few girls from who who made a false declaration on the way in. Yeah, I can't talk on their behalf. They're not members of our show. But uh, it's you're pretty not bad representing them. No, yeah. not representing them. I'm not their lawyer or their rabbi. But um, people should not lie on their form. So um, when when we actually did come in, when we drove in with Victorian plates, they uh, were very sceptical. Yeah. But I showed them my uh, credit card statement that had been to Glicks every single day in Sydney for two weeks. And um, I showed the pictures, and they uh, I looked very honest, and so let me in. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. But you're all welcome to join me. There is a way to get here, by the way. I can tell you how to do it if anyone's interested. I know someone coming for Yontov. You can, you can get into Northern Territory. They're letting people in. You need to quarantine. And once you're there, you can go to any other state in Australia. So you heard it here first. A way to get into Queensland. You do realise... Oh, Jan and Danny are interested. They're coming. Are you coming? They look very interested. I don't know if there's a shul in Northern Territory or kosher food, but I'm sure you can take your own. A shul or food? Either. I don't know what's in Northern Territory. Never been there. Mm. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes, we're doing an Ask the Rabbi session. You're in the, you're in the wrong business. Okay. Anyway, it's lovely to have you and uh, uh, will be nice to have you back and in a shul as soon as possible. Unfortunately, uh, Melburnians are aware that chances are we will not be open for uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, sadly, but uh, I know that the shul is making some extra effort to get something out to the members. Um, I believe with your help as well. So there's some and Anton will know that even the choristers will be recording some things for for uh, our, our members. But of course, it'll be available to anyone, but we'll be sending out a package to our members. Yeah. How are you, Ronnie? No one asked you how you're going. Uh, still as insane as ever, actually. Good. Yeah. So, Ronnie? Yes. So, we've... Just before I finish, so I've got on the original game, um, well, the second game had someone HA. I have no idea who that is because there's no HA who played the first seven rounds, first seven questions. And I can't see Joshy either. So whether Joshy changed his name for this when we played the last 42 questions no idea so possibly ha and joshy could just send a chat now of course i'm the only one who sees it anyway you just just identify yourselves well let me if it's I'll the same person it, that's good but i'll see if it makes i'll see if it makes a difference um it may not make a difference i think part of the problem john is you should have said people should use their first name and the first initial of their last name and then we would have been able to do that Maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next time. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yes. Okay. So don't worry about the... Um, so 
is that the HA? Yeah, so don't worry about the HA, John. HA we've got uh, I've identified. I'm not on, I'm not muted, am I? No, you're not. Okay, so now I can share, I'll share my Excel screen. Um, just one minute. The suspense is killing us. Actually, it might be suspenders. The suspenders are killing me. I think it's this one. We'll see what happens when this one comes up. So what does that show us? So looking from the top down, so when we add the music scores back in, the winner of the second round is Rushford, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. They're not sure who they are. Uh, Sylvia was 21 points behind and Rochelle was just over 100 behind him. So I'll keep a note of that. We'll be in touch with the Rushfords and with Sylvia from this round and we'll be in touch with wherever it is. Jacob B. Yeah, hi darling, how are you? No, it's just finished. It's just finished. On the second round, just as I will. There we go. I think that's been muted now. Yep. So I think we're done, Ronnie. I'm really sorry about the technical problems that we had. It shouldn't have run anywhere near this long. Thank you, Martin, for the thumbs up. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Dog, for helping. Gave you one question about Africa, Simon. I hope you're happy. He's happy. Ronnie, I appreciate your help and support getting putting this all together and for everybody spending their time uh, to join us tonight. Uh you're very welcome. I will, in fact, unmute all if anyone wants to say something, but I've un unmuted everyone now. So Thank you. It was very nice. Leah and I know we've got a lot to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I could have told you that, Fred. <laughs> Who asked you anyway? <laughs> well Respect done, John. That was great. <laughs> really good. So, so when's, when's round three? Okay. When's the next one? When's the next one? There we go. And no, that was also asked her about round three. Is that on the on the plans? Round three, why not? We'll do it. Uh, let's get through Yonta first. What yeah, that's that. Why don't we do it on Yonta? We've got nothing else. Why to not? <laughs> do it instead of Yonta. Whoops, Ronnie's so <laughs> questions about Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Rosh Hashanah quest. At least we can be learning something, John. <laughs> well, yeah, but then it... you'll have some that have got an advantage, <laughs> like we'll the one it... above you. That's It'll true. Be religious, Ronnie. It's okay. Thanks, That's thanks, right. Stephen. It's for a mitzvah. John, John, well done. It was excellent as always. And uh, Ronnie, thank yep. you also. And uh, we've all enjoyed it tremendously. Thank you. Good night. Thank thanks, you. Thomas. Don't forget the. Don't forget the. And opposite. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay. Yes. I, I can't guarantee what time, but uh, yes. Definitely. Everybody, just wait while they have their conversation. <laughs> I, but I can't see her, Lee. I can't. I can't see, can't see you either. You're thanks, on the other man. page. Be well. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Ronnie. See you later. All the best. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.